In this video, I'll show you how to create this amazing flip effect using just HTML and CSS. As you can see, when I hover over the card, it flips and the content on the back side becomes visible at the front. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, create a container element for your flip card. This will be the parent element for both the front and back sides of the card. Then, create two child elements inside the container element. One for the front side of the card and one for the back side. Give them classes to style them separately. Next, position the front and back sides of the card on top of each other using absolute positioning. For that, first give position relative to the class flip card and set a width and height to it, which will be the width and height of the card itself. After that, add a few common styles to both the front and back side of the card. The position needs to be absolute in order to position front and back sides of the card on top of each other. After that, center the text. Add a transition to be able to smoothly flip the card and most importantly, add a back face visibility of hidden. The back face visibility property is used to control whether the back face of the flip card is visible when it is rotated in 3D space. The back face visibility property allows you to control the visibility of the back face of a transformed element. When set to visible, which is the default, the back face is visible. When set to hidden, the back face is not visible, and any content on the back face will not be rendered. Next, I'll give some simple individual styles to the front and back, but most importantly, I'll add a transform property to the back side of the card and rotate it by 180 degrees on the Y axis. So that in the back side, the content stays 180 degrees rotated by default. And then to make sure the back side flips to the front and displays the content in proper order upon hovering on it, I will add a hover pseudo class to the flip card container div where the back side would rotate by 0 degree upon hovering and the front side would rotate by minus 180 degree upon hovering on it. So a minus 180 degree rotation on Y axis in the front side upon hovering will make sure that the back side which is rotated by 180 degree by default will flip to the front because the front will flip by minus 180 degree upon hover. And this will also make sure the text on back side when it flips to the front stays in the correct order and not reversed. Now there's one last thing remaining. You can see the card flipping and its back or front side becoming visible accordingly. But we still don't get to witness that 3D flip effect. The way it's flipping now, it seems like it's flipping on a 2D plane. To give a more realistic flipping effect on a 3D plane, just add a perspective of 1000px and a transform style of preserve 3D in the parent container which is the div with flip card class name. The perspective property is used to give the flip card a 3D effect, which makes it look like a physical object that is being flipped over. And a value of 1000px is used for the perspective property which results in a fairly subtle 3D effect. This value was chosen based on the size and proportions of the flip card element, as well as the desired visual effect. And when the transform style is set to preserve 3D, an element's child elements are transformed in 3D space, allowing for complex 3D effects such as perspective and depth. This means that child elements can be positioned and transformed in 3D space independently of their parent element. And that is literally all for this tiny project. As you can see, every time I hover, the back side flips and its subsequent content becomes visible and vice versa. So that's all for the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as usual, stay tuned for more.